Hi guys, Postman's Bin, another three packages. What have we got here? Uh, okay, this one says five panels. I'm pretty sure that will be solar power or solar panels. So we'll open them. See if they've arrived in one piece or whether they've died in transit. Because they're only in a padded bag. Well, they look like they've survived. Uh, what do they look like? About two inch square? Um, I bought these for those uh, battery experiments I've been doing. In fact, I'll just go and grab it. Yeah, this is supposed to be a rechargeable battery. A couple of stainless steel pan scourers. And then it was full of water, or liquid, which had got these Epsom salts dissolved in them. Now I've left it for ages, so it's all crystallised right out again. So if I want to reuse these, I'll have to put some hot water in there and re-dissolve it. But the idea was, I was charging this up with a um, power supply and then using it to run one of those solar rockers. And the theory is we should be able to just charge it up during the day, during sunlight hours, using something like this, just to top it up. And then during darkness hours, it would keep the solar rocker running from here. Um, trying to explain the logic there because obviously the solar rocker could run on its own from the sun but I've removed the solar panel from the solar rocker and it was running from here and then the idea is to charge this with solar power and then this runs the solar rocker anyway that's a, a project to be done at some time in the future now so five solar panels I don't give you a direct link in the video description anymore to the seller. Um, I just tell you the details or the description of the item and then you use your own search to find it because you'll find other suppliers probably cheaper. Right, so that was that. Then this one, it does actually say one radio receiver. This should be a Flysky receiver, hobby grade that I won on an eBay auction for a pound or 99 pence. No, I think it was a pound. So it should be a genuine Flysky receiver at such a cheap cost that I couldn't, couldn't avoid buying it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean for a pound it's well worth having. Obviously nobody else bothered um, bidding on it, so I got it. So that's those two items. Uh, do we bother unboxing this? <laughs> of course we do. Right, um, I did notice that it's all open on the sides. So, let's see. Okay, there we are. A box full of paper. Are we ready? Big reveal. I think we'll see. Oh gosh. Oh come on. Uh, 
another guy who slipped other things into the box when I'm expecting just one little item. Well, thank you very much, mystery person. <laughs> one of those little fold-out drones. Oh gosh, can we just pull that or is that going to break it? There we are. With camera. On off button. Oh gosh. Shut that back up again. That's what I was expecting. Everything else in this box is extra. Right, let's just have a look. Make sure there's nothing written on there that shouldn't be shown. Full set of instructions in a picture. guide. Install drones app. Search HTS-UFO in App Store. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, that's the uh, instructions D W I D7 age 14 plus so when we're talking about YouTube's new rulings about made for children videos or made for kids 14 plus automatically tells me that this is not made for kids because they say up to the age of 13. It's all getting very messy this YouTube stuff isn't that? Still this video isn't about ranting about that sort of thing. I'm sure YouTube has its its best interests at heart. DWI Dowlin. Okay what's in this little box? Oh gosh Oh, right. All right, understand that. That's the hand set, hand set for the next thing down there. Okay, forty megahertz Zinghui Auto Model Company Limited, Rastar, Ferrari F one scale one twelfth. I don't know if we can see that there. I think the question was, was there any way of making this go a bit faster? Because apparently it's very slow. So we'll have a look at that at some time. What have we got here? A picture. picture of something. All right, before I show you what it is, I'll just check. Oh well, I guess the secret will be out then who this came from. Look at that. Done specially for me. 
as a logo or an icon for my channel. What a top man. And being as it says, Frank Kent on the bottom there, we'd better say thank you, Frank Kent. Frankie to his friends, I believe. And we'll just check, just in case. Check the packing slip. There we go. System Skynet. There'll be a link to his channel in my video description, of course. What a top man. Frankie, you're a bad boy. That was more than enough. Gonna have to find somewhere to put that, aren't I? Right. Well, there we go. That's today's Grandad's post bag. Do you think it works? We've got batteries in it. Better put some batteries in it, and we just check whether it actually runs. Right. We really don't have space to give this a proper test, but I'll put some batteries in it. <laughs> Let's do that again. That was full speed. Steering works. Give it a bit of a run, see what we can do. <laughs> we can't quite do a handbrake turn with it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, a bit of a drift. Not what batteries are like in here, I haven't changed them. But it, it's struggling. So very quickly. It's five AA batteries, so five times one and a half, seven and a half volts. So it ought to be able to take a 2S LiPo battery, which will probably burn it out. But in theory, seven and a half volts, so it should take a, a 2S LiPo. So I can probably do that and kill it.
It is a good looker though, isn't it? That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there.